Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So today we're gonna do another reaction but before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you for subscribing. You guys are super amazing. Thank you so much for getting us to 20,000 subscribers. We are almost getting to 30,000 and I know we're gonna get there with no time. It's just because of you guys for uh, you know just uh, subscribing and uh, watching our videos, pushing the uh, algorithm and all those kind of stuff you guys are just super super amazing and for the people who are giving us a suggestion in the comment section below you guys are also amazing so on that note somebody suggested that we should go react to um what's that Ibn Ibn Al something Ibn Al Kaim's poem to Christians so without any further ado let's get it عباد المسيح لنا سؤال نريد جوابه ممن وعاه إذا مات الإله بصنع قوم أماتوه فما هذا الإله وهل أرضاه ما نالوه منه فبشراهم إذا نالوا رضاه وإن سخط الذي فعلوه فيه فقوتهم إذا أوهت قواه وهل بقي الوجود بلا إله سميع يستجيب لمن دعاه وهل خلت الطباق السبع لما فوا تحت التراب وقد علاه وهل قلت العوالم من إله يدبرها وقد ثمرت يداه وكيف تخلت الأملاك عنه بنصرهم وقد سمعوا بكاه وكيف أطاقت الخشبات حمل إله الحق شد على قفاه وكيف دنا الحديث إليه حتى يخالطه ويلحقه أذاه وكيف تمكنت أيدي عداه وطالت حيث قد صفعوا قفاه وهل عاد المسيح إلى حياة أم المحي له رب سواه ويا عجبا لقبر ضم ربا وأعجب منه بطن قد حواه أقام هناك تسعا من شهور لدى الظلمات من حيض غذاه وشق الفرج مولودا صغيرا ضعيفا فاتحا للثدي فاه ويأكل ثم يشرب ثم يأتي بلازم ذاك هل هذا إله تعالى الله عن إذك النصارى سيسأل كلهم عما افتراه أعباد الصليب لأي معنى يعظم أو يقبح من رماه وهل تقضي العقول بغير كسر وإحراق له ولمن بغاه إذا ركب الإله عليه كوغا وقد شدت في تسمير يداه فذاك المركب الملعون حقا فدسه لا تبسه إذا تراه يهان عليه رب الخلق طرا وتعبده فإنك من عداه فإن عظمته من أجل أو قد حوى رب العباد وقد علاه وقد فقد الصليب فإن رأينا له شكلا تذكرنا سناه فهل لا للقبور سجدت طرا 
لضم القبر ربك في حشاه فيا عبد المسيح أفق فهذا بدايته وهذا منتهاه What do you think about the entire questions? Well, they're good questions. No question is bad. And they, they are meant to provoke you to think. They are meant to provoke you to go beyond sometimes your understanding. And I, I would love to give a big, big, big shout out to the Christians that are kind of a walk. Because those ones are going to straight up tell you that no, Jesus is not God. Yes, he wasn't, he was whatever he was, but he wasn't God, you know. And they are able to differentiate Jesus or Christ from God. There is that distinction. So, that's why I always say this. Where or at what point are you going to carry all this that jesus is god all the way to your life ends when are you ever going to you know like figure it out or understand that that's not the situation i think i was reacting to videos earlier and i was saying so much has been lost in um translation while christ is being used to refer to jesus christ is also being used to refer to god himself in the bible so then how do you expect people that have grown up um reading that believing that to differentiate between the two and that's why the confusion comes in i wish the people that write the bibles the people that edit the bibles whenever they feel like editing could just have a clear um distinction between the two so that people at least know what they're praying to but then in this world up to now that hasn't been edited out I, I, I just don't know I really wonder why that can't be removed so that people know that Jesus was as human as we are and God is just something beyond what you and I can understand or explain um, I'm trying to think what else but if I think of something I'm sure I'll say it. what do you think I mean first of all those are good questions to just make you think <clears throat> goes, uh, it was actually directed to Christians, which, um, yeah, you know, you can say so much about Christianity. You can say a lot of things because there are so many loopholes in there. We do understand all that. Uh, but now, since we understand that there are loopholes, what can we do as uh, people who understand that there are loopholes in there? What solutions can we do? Are there things that we can do to make sure that okay there's a proper understanding of what uh, the Bible clearly says or we just go out there and ignore the fact and we just start questioning and questioning and questioning and just uh, crashing down Christians crashing down crashing down crashing down like, like like that and something like you know so I don't know um, but to be honest no one knows the answer as to which or who religion is the best we only want to believe that mine is the best yeah which is a good thing just the other day i came to understand that there are so many religions there's even a religion called well, what was the name bahai it's bahai. called yeah it's I called it's bahai, bahai or, bahai or bahai. something like that it originated from is it iran yeah. so now the thing is they have that level of understanding that i mean um it's like all religion are like down here and then there's like a there's like a sort of not for them it's like all the religions make up their religion yes they borrowed yes something from each like they borrowed something from christianity they borrowed something from islam they borrowed something from buddhism judaism and everything they brought it all together to form like now the purest of all religion do you understand and them they believe that their religion is actually the best also so um is based on 
purely believe and which you can't you can't you can't discredit that if you want if, if you if your belief is right there go with it if you find that this is where i find peace go with it if you find christianity that's where peace is go with it the best thing to do is let's respect each other let's make it um if you are to correct somebody correct somebody in a right way don't try and provoke that person and feel like uh his religion, his religion is full of whatever bad 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 things you know right direct on but his what face. about christians christian versus christian i've actually spoken to someone mm -hmm. that has said i know jesus is not god mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, maybe there is you here that saying Jesus is God, and you're having yeah. that conversation. How now, do you convince the other person that? Now you see, there are people on this earth that it's really hard to convince them. It's like they are under a spell, and it it it, it takes them time for them to come out of that of that um, um, awakening. Yes, do you understand? So the thing is, if whatever you say. It might not change that guy's mind or that lady's mind because he's fixated on that particular thing. So, however you want to make them believe, they will always stick to what they believe in. And I think um, it comes with so much, not just them understanding what the Bible is. I feel like there's so much spirituality that is in there. Even I think there's some spell that are in there that just to bind you not to realize that there's this other side of things you only see this side do you like you you only have the 2 d aspect of things you don't have the 3 d you don't have the 4 d or 5 d of of aspect of things so that's nice we only see the translation part of things yes you Translated see part of the message yeah for original i wish people could just be thinking like critical thinkers you know but then go, how can you back, think when see? you don't have the original do you understand? I know. Because someone is seated, what if, asking the question, what if Jesus is really God? Exactly. And you know, the thing is, they are hiding the truth from us. Let's just be honest, guys. The, the government is not your, your buddy. The government is not your friend. You know, if the government was truly your friend, they could have made everybody uh, equal, rich, and all those kind of things. Just the way the good books are talking about. I mean... God wants us to. God wants everybody to be rich. You understand, but there's some certain entity that are oppressing humans, or oppress, or, or not only humans. They are oppressing certain humans to not move from one point to another. What if we have abilities of becoming, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, super sane uh, gods or something? Maybe there's something that is just so, so suppressing us to a point that we can't achieve those abilities. Do you understand? I mean we we can become great if we understand or uh, we understand that our man our minds are more powerful than anything else you know um our minds that is created by god is so powerful to a point that you can just be able to uh to even like the kind of information that we don't have you can actually download those information just directly from the source understand and then you just have that uh, moment of truth I feel so yeah so I mean good questions but um, yeah those okay. are thought-provoking questions you yeah, really really That's it. yeah uh, if there's anything like this that you guys want to see us react to drop the link down below or drop the name of whatever video you want us to react to and we'll be more than glad to react to eat make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and deuces